Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and I'm the host, Mitchell Rands. I got a fun show on tap today. We're going to dive into some news, going to dive into some rumors. Got some interesting stuff around Darko's Denard, Drake or Patrick, and don't go anywhere because I got something on Yannick and Gakwe as well. Let's get right on into it now. Are the Raiders targeting Darquez Denard? I'm actually going to give this one three Chucky heads, and I think that it's pretty likely. So I saw a recent article by Christopher Knox of Bleacher Report that he said that the Raiders should go out and get Denard. And in fact, I kind of agree with them. Why? One of the biggest needs right now for this team, and you'll see my video tomorrow on the Raiders' biggest needs, is in fact cornerback. And the fact that Darquez can also play nickel corner, I think is something that this team definitely, definitely needs. It could even help out a player like LaMarcus Joyner, just taking a little bit of pressure off him. Now, he didn't have any interceptions the past two seasons, but you can see, at 5'11", 200 pounds, he's 28 years old, I do think that he could add some depth to this team. Because even though, y'all know, I'm not the biggest fan of Eli Apple, and I wasn't the biggest fan of Eli Apple, but he at least did give us some depth at a position that is in need. And if you want to be able to compete in the AFC West, if you want to be able to compete in the NFL in today's game, you need to have solid cornerback play, plus... You need to be able to have solid nickel corner. And last season, the Raiders, in fact, played a lot, a lot, a lot of nickel. So you insert a player like Denard, who is not at his prime anymore. That's a fact. But you could at least get the leadership a lot like what we got last year from Vontez Burfecht. Why? He knows Paul Gunther well. And I know we always joke around about the Paul Gunther system. And does Paul Gunther even know what it is? I actually think a player like Darquez Denard does, in fact, know. And the last point that I'm going to make, he was about to sign a deal. Three years, $13.5 million with the Jags, and it fell through a lot like the Eli Apple deal. I would much rather have Darquez Denard over Eli Apple every single day of the week. Now, I want every single person that watches this video to like it. My goal for this video, 2,000 likes. That's going to set a record for this month. So if you think that the Raiders are going to make the playoffs, I want you to like it. And for those of you that don't like it, are you even Raiders fans? So I better have well over 2,000 likes. Let's get into the next story here. Dre Kirkpatrick, Dark West's old teammate. And are the Raiders interested in Kirkpatrick? This one, again, is three Chucky heads, and I think it's pretty likely. With cornerback being our biggest need, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if you go out and you insert a Kirkpatrick and maybe even a Denard. It wouldn't be the craziest thing this Raiders team has done. He is still a starting caliber corner at age 30. Another player who, again, knows Paul Gunther very, very well. And when I think about it, a lot of the times where the Raiders got burnt last year, heck, we've given up 69 total passing touchdowns the last two years. I think one of the biggest reasons is we're inserting cornerbacks that don't know their role fully. And when you get a lot of injuries, it's just something that happens. This is a position that we definitely need in terms of depth. And I would absolutely love to see a Drake Kirkpatrick on this team, on this roster. It'd be a lot of fun. And so that you guys stay up to date as much as possible, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification so you know every single time I drop a video and go live. We're doing videos every single day. I go live every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific. So again, if you're a diehard Raider fan, Hit that sub and then send the link youtube.com slash Raiders support to all your diehard Raider fans. Now, when I think about the needs of this team, again, the reason why I'm really pounding the nail on the head here is because at cornerback, it is a major, major need. And as like I said for Darquez, I'm going to say the exact same thing about Dre. Is he past his prime? Yes, no doubt about it. But if you're telling me would I rather have Drake or Patrick or Eli Apple, Honestly, guys, it's, it's actually not even close to me. I'll take the leadership of a Kirkpatrick. I'll take somebody that knows the Paul Gunther system over a player like Eli Apple. So the fact that we went out and we're confident in Apple makes me almost wonder why we're not confident in Kirkpatrick. Now, last year, he battled some injuries. I get it. But if the Raiders do want to put Kirkpatrick on this team, I think they actually better do it quick because I know the Minnesota Vikings, there was a report that came out yesterday that they are very interested in Kirkpatrick. So Raider Nation, people who, I don't know, Mike Mayock, John Gruden, if you watch the show, go out and get Kirkpatrick if he's your guy. So the Raiders report is all about live interaction. So for every single person that's watching this video on YouTube, 
you might get hit with an ad break. While that ad is playing, I want you to scroll on down and pick a cornerback. Type K for Kirkpatrick or type D for Darko as Denard. When I think about the top fits for both of these players, I think they're actually very similar in the regard of, well, you're getting to this point in free agency where if there's a player out there, there are certain teams that are just going to be interested in the position because the NFL draft is coming up. The Minnesota Vikings, they have picks 22-25. I know for a fact that they're very interested in Kirkpatrick. You got the Raiders, obviously. The Cowboys, since they lost Byron Jones, they're still looking at the cornerback position. The Atlanta Falcons, since losing Desmond Trufant. And then the 49ers. The one thing that all these teams have in common, though, they're not looking for a cornerback one. They're looking for a cornerback two, which is exactly what Kirkpatrick and Denard are, which is why they're both fits for both of these teams, or all five of these teams. Speaking of fits, <laughs> hope you guys can fit into one of these jerseys. Go to chatsports.com slash jersey. And for what I think it is now, as I look at my watch that I don't even have, up until Thursday night, okay? So when this video goes out, you have up until midnight on Thursday to get this deal. $74.99. I know I'm not giving you guys a lot of time. But let's say you watch the video on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, heck, even a week from now. You can still go to the link, chatsports.com slash Raiders jersey. You can get a Josh Jacobs. You can get a Max Crosby. They got a Darren Waller on there as well. I'm just trying to find the best deals as possible. It might not be $74.99, but normally they're around $80. That's still a pretty good deal for an NFL jersey, if you ask me. So if you don't remember that, it's chatsports.com slash Raiders jersey. I'll put it in the comments. I'll put it in the description. Send me your picks. Tag the player. Tag me. I'll share it on my IG. Let's get in now to the next player that I want to talk about on today's show. And it's Yannick Ngakwe. And are the Raiders indeed favorites for him? And if you don't believe me, this one's actually from Adam Schefter, who appeared on 97.5 The Fanatic yesterday. It is a radio station from Philadelphia. I might be showing where I'm from a little bit, but 97.5 Fanatic, they do get some pretty good guests on there, like Adam Schefter. Now, I'm giving this one to Chucky Heads, and I think that it's pretty likely because anytime Schefter says anything, you have to at least think about it. You have to at least look at it, okay? So this is what I want you to do, okay? I want you to look at this quote from Adam Schefter. You look at the Giants, you look at the Browns, you look at the Raiders, you look at the Eagles, you look at the Seahawks. I think those are the five teams in mind that will look to address pass rusher during the draft. Those are five teams that realistically you could figure out a way that somehow they would make a trade for Yannick and Gakwe work. I think it's a very interesting quote by Adam Schefter. So again, here are the five teams for Yannick. He put the Seattle Seahawks. He has the Raiders, the Browns, the Giants, the Eagles. But when you really think about everything that Yannick wants, he wants to go to a team that's going to appreciate him. He wants to go to a team that's going to show him love. Right now, a lot of the Jags players, they didn't want to stay there because they weren't getting that. Now, I can't say for the Browns. I can't say for the Giants. I can't say for the Eagles. I can say this, though, Yannick. If you want to come here, if you want to wrap silver and black, I can guarantee you, Mike Mayock, John Gruden, they will respect the heck out of you. You just got to show up and you got to work. And at age 24, a player who's had 37 and a half sacks the last, what, four years, his entire career, he is a very, very solid player. The only thing is, though, the difference between Darquez and Dre, they're free agents. Yannick was tagged, and since being tagged, he has made it very, very clear that he wants out of Jacksonville. So guess what you got to do if you want Yannick? You're going to have to give up some draft capital. Now, the Raiders, luckily, do have five picks in the top 100. They have a fourth rounder and a fifth rounder. The Jags also, they have 12 picks, and they've been looking to just gain as many as humanly possible. So the fact that Yannick has made it clear that he wants out, and the fact that Schefter thinks that the Raiders are a legitimate possibility to go out and get him, because they have interest in the defensive line, is something why y'all should subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be keeping you as up-to-date as humanly possible. And if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't liked it yet, go ahead, give me a like. Let's get 2,000 likes on this bad boy. I know I personally would definitely appreciate that. So if you're going to go out and trade for Yannick, what exactly would it look like? So what I wanted to do here is just give you an idea. Now, this doesn't mean like, yes, this is 100% what I would do. But I actually think that this is what it would probably cost. So again, what we do here on the Raiders Report is all about having a grown-up discussion. 
So would you make this trade? Give me a Y for yes, or I want you to give me an N for no in the comments section down below. So the Raiders, they receive Yannick Ngakwe. And remember, you're probably going to have to pay him $17, $18 million a year. And then the Jaguars get Cleveland Furl, who we drafted number four overall last year. You get Gabe Jackson. Your reason why you're trading Gabe is because if you don't trade him, honestly, you're probably just going to end up cutting him. And you give up your 2024th round pick. What I want every single person to do that's watching the show right now, go down, vote, and also take a screenshot and put it on Instagram and tag me at MitchellRen365. And if you watch until the end, man, like I'm off on Friday, I'm off on Saturday, but I still want to be able to hang out and talk with the nation. So if you've made it this far in the video and you want to do an Instagram live with me, slide in my DMs at MitchellRen365. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.